route from 2016 to 2019. Claudia Castellucci asked me to come here this morning and uh, talk about uh, the design we made of Atrium in these years, which involved archives and docu documentary sources. I'm an archivist and I've been dealing in particular with the photographic archives for almost 20 years, except for that uh, five years <laughs> during, uh, during uh, where I, I was involved in the um, um, administration of the city. And uh, for this reason, my interest and sensitivity on this issue is particularly developed. So, before starting trying to discuss about uh, what we did uh, on this topic, okay, bene, I just would like to, to say something as a, um, a definition. I think that uh, um, I have to, um, I would like to um, remember that in particular in Italy, but I suppose also in your countries, uh, um, national law and the planning of activities on cultural heritage indicate protection, enhancement and knowledge as the three main principles to, the, to deal with cultural heritage. As we see also this morning, uh, in particular in the last uh, uh, communication we heard, uh, this is, uh, these three main uh, principles uh, are in some way uh, translated in activities, uh, in particular uh, for the uh, knowledge of, uh, for the uh, use of cultural heritage as a source of information about history, about uh, um, our history and uh, the history of the world, but, not, but in particular of our uh, root. Um, atrium as a root adheres had, had to this indication, trying to promote them through his activities, in particular uh, because um, Atrium uh, is, deals with a, a type of, a, of cultural heritage that is architectural uh, heritage in two different ways. Architectures of uh, um, with a, uh, an aesthetic value, declared aesthetic value, and architectures with no declared aesthetic value, but with an important documentary value. This is the, uh, very important for us to understand why sources and archives are so important in our everyday activity. A lot of information, as you can see, as you can uh, understand, a lot of information are involved, is involved in the decision to consider a particular architecture interesting for Atrium. And the more this information are specific and precise, the more it would be interesting and useful for us. So when uh, uh, Atrium decide to involve, um, you, uh, you, you know, the um, associated of the, the root are municipality, so communities, when Atrium decides to involve a new community, uh, first, first of all, uh, Atrium asks uh, to the community to produce a, 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 some way a um, relation, a documentation, uh, not relation, documentation about uh, the architectural, uh, architectural heritage they have in. But this kind of documentation had to be very specific and clear, and in particular because uh, we deal with a very mm, strange and difficult uh, topic, as you, as you perfectly know, that uh, is uh, the topic of the um, architecture of uh, past totalitarian regime, and so we deal with a very difficult and uh, dramatic history of uh, Europe in, in uh, quite often cases uh, almost recent uh, in their memory and in their sensitivity. So uh, we have to uh, control very clearly the origin of this information and we have uh, to do it in a situation that uh, very often, fortunately, are not uh, in Italy, in other places, in other countries, so with different kind of organization uh, in, uh, from, from the um, point of view of um, sources and, and um, archives. So, um, 
as I said, uh, this is the, the, the main reason, the dissonant cultural heritage, uh, and uh, we have also another problem, it's about the interpretation of the cultural heritage, as uh, Sandra will very clearly explain to us uh, in the next hours, and uh, this interpretation, um, um, in some way, are, uh, this problem of interpretation are connected also with the authenticity and value of sources and archives. So we need, as we need, to deal with institutional archives, clearly uh, recognized, and to deal with, uh, uh, dice, uh, professional uh, figures that can uh, guarantee uh, that the information they are communicating are uh, good and well defined, well uh, contextualized. So the archives and sources are, in my opinion in particular, but maybe not in the opinion of all the committee, scientific committee of uh, the, the route, but in my opinion, archives and sources are part of the cultural heritage directly involved in the process of valorization and knowledge directed by Atrium. These are some ideas I would like to uh, discuss with you because my uh, presentation is not so... Uh, so linear as, uh, as you said, uh, so, okay, so let's start. I will uh, try to explain you how Atrium involves in uh, its activity uh, sources and archives, uh, documentary sources and archives, and uh, I, would I will try to explain you know, also how we um, we design uh, the project uh, from 2016 to 2019 uh, of Atrium uh, facing this, uh, the, this uh, topic I already uh, explained to you. So facing the, the opportunity of the relationship uh, with the root, with, uh, with sources and archives. So, um, Unfortunately, as I said, I'm an archivist and I'm particular um, dealing with uh, uh, photography archives, but in this presentation you will not see any, <laughs> a lot of images, I'm sorry, but uh, unfortunately archives, as you say, as you perfectly know, archives and, uh, and uh, documentary resources are not very often represented by, by images. So this is one of the very, very few images. Um, it represents uh, a very ancient schedule, non so come si dice scheda, schedule, schedule, uh, catalog, um, catalog items. Um, as you perfectly know, uh, one of the first, first uh, one of the most important activities in cultural heritage uh, protection, but also uh, knowledge and also enhancement, is to cataloging uh, the heritage. So the same thing, this is a, an ancient uh, uh, catalog uh, paper, uh, it, it doesn't uh, deal with uh, Atrium, but uh, I, I show you just uh, to, to remember that uh, catalog, cataloging is the, one of the most important and uh, fun, fundative act, action of uh, um, cultural heritage uh, uh, protection, uh, enhancement and knowledge. And uh, also Atrium, uh, one of the first activity uh, Atrium uh, decided to do is, uh, not decided, uh, was uh, uh, at the very beginning of the project, uh, was to um, fill in a form, I find this kind of translation, fill in a form with, uh, fill in a form with information on buildings. So create a virtual cat catalog about buildings. This is necessary, as I said, a found, foundative action because uh, every kind of uh, uh, catalogation um, is different from the other. And the point of view from which you, you found a different catalog is obviously uh, def definitively, come si dice, cambia, it changes uh, your way, your. Um, it, uh, your way to, to, uh, to approach uh, the cultural heritage. So, um, no, we, we have to, um, so uh, Atrium uh, described, decided how to describe this, this uh, kind of cultural heritage and put uh, in this uh, 
uh, in this uh, catalog uh, all the elements and all the information Atrium need to have in order to consider this kind of heritage uh, uh, useful for his uh, project, uh, cultural project. Is it uh, clear? Because my English is not very good, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm trying to, to be as clear as possible. So the second activity uh, very important for Atrium had been at the very beginning of the project, I'm talking about uh, the first two years of the project, so from 2013 to 2015, the creation of a uh, catalog, a digital catalog. This is an image that uh, doesn't deal with the Atrium catalog, is uh, uh, the ministry. Uh, Yes, so uh, I try to, this is the national uh, page of the cultural heritage catalog, uh, but as you said, as you can observe from the um, previous image to, the, the, to this one, that um, there is uh, almost uh, one, one, 100 year, and uh, you can see that mm, things are not so changed. <laughs> In, uh, as uh, in the previous images, we use images to um, identify the, uh, the object and uh, to describe it, as you said, uh, as you, said you, you are trying to do it in, uh, in finance. This database is more, uh, very important for, uh, for um, Atrium because uh, it represents all the uh, things I tried to, to, to say before. Uh, the, the fact that uh, all the buildings that are um, considered a, a cultural heritage of uh, Atrium has a particular value uh, from an aesthetic point of view, from a documentary point of view. So in this catalog we exactly define, we declare what uh, Atrium intend uh, about uh, his work. So the catalog is the very deep and uh, important, come si dice, center of the work of our uh, route. In some way, as uh, we have already seen, uh, uh, listening to the communication from uh, Carlo Quinto route, uh, that explains so clearly that uh, all the, the, the work they do by reconstructing the journey of Carlo Quinto is at the, uh, the, the center of uh, the work of the route because it represents uh, an opportunity for create tourism activity, uh, but uh, in particular, it represents the, uh, um, uh, the, the world of historian throughout the, the, the sources. So, um, this is uh, the, the first activity Atrium made about sources. The images are finished, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> From this moment, uh, I'm trying to, to be interest, interesting in, uh, in, in uh, speaking, but it will be quite uh, difficult. Uh, so we uh, worked on three particular um, activities that uh, I will also explain to you in my next communication uh, in, uh, on Thursday. I try to, to be continue this uh, communication. And um, uh, I would like to... Um, to, to, to read these three activities uh, and then projects and then try to explain it better. The first one is, a, is about census of sources and archival heritage linked to Atrium. These three activities had been made informally and, and uh, had been proposed and in some way uh, completely realized also in the other uh, places uh, associated to Atrium. The first one is, as I, sa as, uh, as I said, the census of sources. Uh, it's very important for us to have a clear um, awareness of uh, where, uh, about where and uh, how are the sources and archives interesting for our roots, not only for the, uh, because we, we, we have uh, a clear um, idea of uh, what uh, we need uh, uh, to know, to work on our topic, but we are interested also in, in uh, information we should not know now, but will be interesting to know in the future, in order to ex expand, 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 expand our, our work. So, this census of sources had been one of the first activities we, we made, 
And uh, I think that uh, uh, it had been very important for Atrium, and um, uh, it is still a map, a cultural map, throughout we, uh, Atrium, no we, <laughs> Atrium uh, contained in his work. In particular, it had been useful to make the second activity, as you can see uh, written in, the, in, the, in this PowerPoint, the creation of a network with the conservation institutes of the community. This is the other very important activity we made and was completely, it was uh, in, um, in line with the, the first one I described uh, to you. Because in this moment we are in this place, the next days you are going to visit other places here in Forli, and these places are all um, conservation institutes. I, de I describe it as a, in a general way, but uh, because they are very different, and uh, you will face this, uh, uh, this um, heterogeneity <laughs> in, uh, in Forli. Uh, because, but they are all, uh, as I said before, uh, institutional and uh, very um, re recognized from a scientific point of view. It's very important for us to. Uh, to be clear. Um, so the creation of, of this network had been very useful for Atrium because all these institutions conserve an ar archives and uh, document resources and um, every day work to uh, make the, the three things I said before, uh, uh, I'm so, uh, arrivo, a protection, enhancement and knowledge. Uh, they know very well their sources, their archives, so Atrium simply try to communicate to them and create opportunity, as we we'll see in the next uh, PowerPoint uh, page, uh, create opportunity to co-projection and uh, co-design new activity. This uh, network, it also is useful to communicate to the world uh, of uh, the community, to the citizen, but also to the uh, historian, uh, the, the, the people that used to, to, to go in this uh, institution, what uh, uh, Atrium is doing, and to make, uh, um, to, uh, make uh, simply the citizen and people more aware about, uh, uh, about the project of Atrium. I'm telling this, uh, activity very simply, but it had been very complicated, as you can understand, and, and try to be, um, come si dice, uh, sintetico, sintetica. So, the third activity uh, is a very more classical, the prom promotion of enhancement uh, project, uh, catalog catalog uh, cataloging digitizing uh, uh, of uh, archives and uh, uh, of architects and engineers. Uh, the most important example for us is the Cesare Valle ar archive, but uh, you know, in Italy in particular, but I think in all, all uh, your countries, there is a specific project uh, uh, of the ministry about uh, architects and engineers' archives. Uh, we simply try to, uh, Atrium simply tried to um, promote uh, new classical activity uh, about uh, this kind of arch archives. That in particular, Cesare Valley Archive, that is a very important archive. Uh, we hope that this archive should uh, be more linked to Forlì and to Atrium Project, and, um, but uh, the, uh, the connection with the, uh, with the national institution about, uh, that uh, has uh, enhanced this kind of, of uh, archives. So, stata chiara? Non ce la fate più. Okay, this is the second um, activity we made. So activate co-planning and knowledge processes starting from sources and collective memory. In particular, I'm trying to, con to open this uh, connection. I'm not sure I will um, do it. Yes. In particular, in these cases, um, I, uh, showed, uh, I'm going to show you pro project we made not only with uh, um, institution, conservative institution, but also with, so, um, as I said, uh, uh, we activate uh, some co-planning and uh, process with association and other um, 
particular citizens, and uh, not only with the institution, cultural institution. Um, in particular, uh, adesso non funziona più, prima funziona. Metto presentazione. Ok. Non... Aspetta, aspetta, ho trovato. Ok, ok. No, è la stessa cosa. No. Vabbè, è lo stesso, direi che... Allora, continuo io intanto che... Aspetta, faccio il sangue così fisicamente. Ah, mi sono dimenticata di dire un'altra cosa, magari la riprendo dopo. Allora, quindi, these uh, projects... Vabbè, uh, the, the first project I want to, to, to show you is about uh, the association DEINA. Uh, in particular, Atrium uh, creates a, a relationship with this association in the, in the last years. This association works um, in, a, in a project called Promemoria Auschwitz and brings uh, students of the high school uh, from uh, part of Italy to Auschwitz and uh, we met them uh, no, questo è social life è qui and um, with uh, this association uh, Atrium obviously worked uh, uh, trying to um, create uh, activity, similar activity in, uh, on Atrium topic, uh, you know, the dissonant heritage. I think that uh, about dissonant heritage you spoke, uh, uh, you, you are not to, to be, uh, the, the, the definition of dissonant heritage uh, is not uh, to, to, to make here in this moment, but um, in, in particular, Uh, with the association dei NA che allora come faccio a tornare no come faccio a tornare no 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 l'ho trovato, trovato no aspetta devo tornare ecco ma intanto si riposano visto che non gli avete fatto fare neanche un po' di pausa poveracci ecco Uh, this is Dana Association. Maybe? No? Ok, non importa. Sì, sì, si vede. Si vede? Non lo vedo io, ma la vedete voi. This Dana Association, as you can see, they uh, work with the young people and they are themselves young people. There uh, is a very interesting project of peer education. They bring uh, students from the high school uh, to Auschwitz, but uh, they do, do not simply do uh, a tour, but they work with the students uh, before and after, and the Atrium uh, creating uh, very interesting experiences of, uh, uh, as I said, uh, co-planning with the, with the students, with the, the young uh, people. And so Atrium in Forlì in particular, because this is an Italian association, um, start to collaborate with this association. And at the end, uh, we made, Atrium made a project with this, uh, um, with this um, association. I can't see, so I, this project is Atrium Plus, ma non riesco ovviamente ad andare sotto per farvi vedere. Le foto, vabbè, the name is Atrium Plus and um, the um, young people from Deina had been involved in uh, co-creating uh, um, some itinerary in the, in, the, in the cities of Atrium, in Forlì, but not only in Forlì, and uh, they simply use, uh, no, lascia stare, non importa, they eh, simply vediamo. try to use, uh, involves uh, young people to understand, to know better the sources and archives, uh, visiting the sources and archives, in particular in the public library. And uh, so the uh, young people had been involved, uh, had been um, uh, costrict, come si dice, uh, costretti to visit and to know better these uh, places 
and they uh, use these sources to create their their um, tourist uh, their guide to the city uh, about obviously the the topic of uh, the atrium topic so um, in some way, in so, in the experience uh, you, you described this morning, uh, obviously your experience is more, more interesting and <laughs> important. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but uh, we consider um, um, a best practice. Okay, so the, the other experience I would like to, to show you is about uh, Totally Lost. Uh, um, it's another experience made uh, with an association. And uh, I, okay, doesn't matter. And um, this association, uh, Spazi Indecisi, the, um, made a database online of uh, uh, photographs that had been uh, collected from all Europe about places not defined that in some way had relation with the uh, atrium root um, topic uh, idea. So um, I can't uh, scroll uh, scroll on. So you you simply had to, um, to 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 see that images, as you say. Also in this case, the database is quite similar. You described uh, this morning is a very simply um, structure with Im images and no uh, information about uh, no specific information about the building, but. Uh, it creates a very an interesting um, uh, reaction on uh, on people that uh, participate to the uh, collection of uh, the images, but also in uh, uh, going on this uh, this site. Another experience is about uh, slow food. I have no connection to show you. But um, in the next days, you will meet, uh, uh, you will have an experience uh, on Thursday, and in some way connection connected to this uh, to this project. And also in this case, uh, um, the associations Le Food uh, made a census uh, of information, not uh, in, uh, archi uh, archi ar uh, archive and. Uh, uh, cultural institution, but uh, uh, documentary information and sources to uh, create to, to to write a story of uh, um, the, of the um, of food uh, during the fascist uh, fascist era. But I think that uh, we will talk about this experience in the next days. Uh, the fifth experience is about. Um, Resisten Istituto Resistenza, the place where we are, and you have in your um, cartella, carpet, in your carpet you have uh, some uh, out, uh, output of that project, in particular uh, Resistenza Mappe, and uh, as you can say, in this case uh, we made a project uh, as uh, Carlo Quinto Root, uh, obviously in a very smaller way, using the, um, the sources to recreate the maps, the, the itinerary of uh, people during Resistenza period. And uh, in particular, uh, I can't show you, but uh, there are three itinerary, well, four itinerary, but you can have it in your, you can see it in your, um, in your map. And these uh, itinerary are about, uh, um, uh, people against uh, the fascism uh, or uh, uh, workers uh, in the in the factories uh, and so on. So also in this case, uh, we use uh, sources and archives uh, to create uh, some uh, particular project. And uh, then, che cos'è questo? Ah, sì. And then this is uh, the the last one is about. Uh, um, the uh, this hyper hypertext. We also made an hypertext uh, throughout uh, the work of some uh, historians, uh, starting from the sources, uh, the information uh, of the sources of uh, the, the archives, uh, but also um, published, come si dice, libri e publicazioni. And uh, this is an hypertext. Uh, um, 
quite old uh, expression, but I think very interesting. Uh, and I think that Atrium should uh, uh, replace this experience, uh, redo this experience, because uh, with the new uh, digital instruments should be uh, quite uh, interesting also for, for the city. So, um, this very, very fast, uh, what we did, uh, trying to be the more schematic uh, I can, mm, I can. Uh, then uh, I would like just to, to add some information. Devo togliere questo. Sì, comunque tu c'hai il freccino che sparisce e va di là. Perché la freccina va di là, vedi? Ah, ecco. Ecco. <laughs> ecco qua, perfetto. A new perspective for an integrated system of memory, memory between planning new public services and involving citizens. We did this project about uh, three years ago. Mm, it is called uh, Santarelli Project. Uh, in this moment, this project had been uh, stopped because the administration of the city changed and obviously the new administration decided to, uh, uh, to manage another cultural project. Um, unfortunately, this is uh, one of the um, very often situation it happened in uh, in our municipality, also I think that also in Europe, it was quite it is quite quite um, common. But uh, I just would like to, in order to explain to to to, to tell you all the story, that uh, from this project uh, we decided to create a new project, an integrated project uh, that uh, should. Uh, um, contrain uh, the, the, this, uh, the, the activity we, we, we start trying to make it more um, efficient and more, um, more integrated, as I, I wrote, in the uh, city services for culture. In particular, I just would like to underline the two perspectives we use. The first one, I call it MAB, Museum, Archives, and uh, B for Biblioteche in Italian, for, but it, 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 libraries. And uh, so the idea of creating an uh, institution, uh, cultural institution, with no so uh, strictly uh, um, um, confini. Uh, border, thank you. No so strictly border. So, um, the new, uh, the, the MAB perspective is a perspective, obviously not, uh, I, I didn't invent this, <laughs> this uh, expression, is a uh, perspective uh, uh, very common and uh, famous in Italy in this moment. Uh, a lot of uh, cultural institutions, but also in Europe, a, a lot of cultural institutions are um, projected from this point of view. And uh, we try to use, to applicate this idea to the new project of the cultural institution. The other perspective was the Faro perspective, uh, as you, I think that you, all you know uh, what, uh, what is Faro, Faro Convention. And in particular, we consider uh, useful for us uh, to make citizens as witnesses and custodians of cult cultural heritage. Um, <coughs> of memory, but also of uh, cultural heritage. Uh, Italy had uh, recently completely con um, uh, concluso uh, his itinerary in Faro Convention uh, participation, in the participation Faro Convention, and uh, I think that uh, uh, so um, story uh, is a good opportunity for all, for all the cultural uh, institutions in Italy. Non c'è più la cosa perché è andata di qua. Sotto. Vabbè, facciamo così. So, um, we created the, our project and the collective memory of Atrium as a project for the city. We decided to put this, uh, all the experience we made uh, from throughout Atrium that had been in some way an experimental uh, flat for us, uh, very import important and interesting. And we tried to uh, translate that experiences uh, in a project for the city. As I said, uh, uh, trying to uh, in interact a different, uh, kind, a different kind of institution. So we uh, project an innovation lab to um, create a um, 
digitization and, um, and no, innovation lab to digitization and collection of the memory uh, of the inhabitants of Forli. So the idea was to make a very important and definitive uh, um, revolution in uh, translation cultural uh, uh, issue uh, from a, a material <laughs> state to a digital state. And uh, unfortunately, the last two years um, um, dire, um, demonstrated that we were right. We, we choose the good, uh, the good project, but, uh, but because in these two years, as you, as you can see, as, as we, say, we, we experienced it this morning, uh, digital uh, instruments are, uh, of culture are, are um, very important now. Um, so, very, in my opinion, uh, an integrated heritage digital, digitization project uh, had to be made uh, from, um, um, for, for, for the Atrium Group in particular, but for the municipality uh, involved uh, um, in, the, in this process uh, of Atrium, but also not involved in the process of Atrium, had to be uh, think and project and uh, design from the beginning. So I think that uh, digitization, um, um, big opportunity for cultural heritage, very big opportunity, still are very big opportunity, but we have to manage it uh, very, uh, very, uh, with, with a lot of, uh, of attention. And uh, clarifying long-term goals and make possible changes in perspective and objective uh, along the way. So, uh, Innovation Lab was the first uh, aspect of this project. The second aspect was the public reading library as a center for access and knowledge. Unfortunately, this project had been uh, cancelled. Uh, so, the idea of transformation of traditional services for access to knowledge to make them permeable and able to be active in Atrium, new project for the community. It was necessary, in our opinion, to have an, an institution in, uh, in Forli open to citizens, capable to uh, be uh, dialogic, uh, come si dice? Dialectic. dialectic. To, to, to open the dialogue between citizens and the topic of Atrium. So, the most uh, useful institution in cultural field for make this kind of activity is the library. Because the library is the service in the city, uh, the most open service in the city, and uh, everyone can enter in a library. Uh, no, you don't need to have any uh, uh, particular uh, knowledge, but also you don't have to pay, you don't have to, to show your documents. You, you can also be a no regular citizen, but you can enter in a, a library. Maybe you, can borrow a, you can't borrow a book, but you can enter in a library. So this condition um, convinced us that uh, the, as an, in a cultural institution, the library as a, was a, the, the more suitable for us. And uh, library uh, is also so, uh, in archives. It, uh, library contains archives, contains sources, contains books. So um, we decided for, uh, to project a library. And then the third activity we decided to, to, project, to create in Forli uh, uh, was open air museum. I think that uh, uh, we, you, you, said, uh, you explained very, very, um, so very well how an open air museum should be for a community in Fayence. So I think that um, I, I have no, nothing more to say about it. Um, okay, come so messa col tempo? So this open air museum obviously should um, connect uh, all the digital, digitalization, digitization project and uh, cultural, um, digital culture to, to create uh, interest. So I think that uh, 
non so come sono messa, devo andare avanti, posso, fer posso ferma devo fermarmi? Dipende da te, eh, a Luna avevamo da finire, ma stavo un po' di ore. Ah però, allora sono andata forse un po' veloce. <ride> Vabbè, comunque... No, però... Poi fare delle, possiamo fare delle domande. Allora, no, non ho, volevo chiudere con questo che tra l'altro, vabbè, è in italiano perché nel, in inglese era, era nell'altra versione. What are the problem of uh, um, this kind of, uh, what are the problems and what are the new um, opportunities for um, to having archives and digital and uh, documentary sources so in uh, the, the activity of the cultural route? As I said before, the problem linked to the changing of uh, administration, political administration. Uh, unfortunately, all the projects we made had been completely um, changed and uh, not, uh, and, and, and it is uh, completely uh, closed. So uh, nothing about uh, Progetto Santarelli still live. Um, the idea that uh, archivi and uh, 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 documental sources and archives, uh, um, the, the difficulties in communicate archives and uh, um, documentary for, uh, sources uh, to people, to normal people, but also to the uh, operator, cultural operator, because uh, they are always um, uh, considered as uh, boring and not interesting, uh, quite... Uh, Uh, quite, um, as I said, uh, difficult to, to understand. And uh, another very big problem is the less of an integration to uh, institution, to archives, uh, to uh, documentary sources. And I think that is a problem also in Italy, but uh, in particular it is a problem for uh, roots, uh, um, like Atrium, but like your roots, so that as, the, as, um, as a main uh, Uh, aim to connect uh, different uh, places uh, and uh, realities. So I think that, uh, uh, as I said before, not very, I, um, as I said before, it's very important to think about uh, an integrated uh, digital project uh, about uh, the, the cultural heritage, but also about the, the information of the cultural heritage. As I said before, another problem is uh, the interpretation of sources and archives. It's very important to maintain the connection, to use uh, sources, archives, institutions that are uh, clearly um, recognized and si from a scientific point of view, but also from an institutional point of view, it's very important not to uh, come dire, be superficial from, in this kind of uh, Uh, come si dice, scelta, choose. And at the, at the very end, I think that uh, the future, the new opportunity for uh, sources and archives are uh, the, digi the, digital pro the di digitization of uh, uh, cultural heritage. We are, f in, we are facing a new world of cultural heritage. We are facing very big uh, transformation. And we have to, do, to, to face this transformation, be aware that uh, it is not simply a translation. It is not, uh, we, we, we have to be aware of the fact that uh, the culture, um, digital culture is a different language. So we have to um, project, to think about, we, we, we do, with our cultural heritage, having this uh, clear awareness. So please uh, work with, archi with the professional archivists, with uh, people that know uh, what he's doing, and trying, to, uh, trying also to, to connect uh, your route to the national activities uh, and uh, regional activities. Uh, I think that Atrium, we will do it. I hope it will do it. Um, but um, it is not an easy uh, aim, so uh, be, be aware about it. Okay, basta. <laughs>